It's a, it's a real pleasure to be here today, if a little bit surreal, because normally I'm sat where you're sitting, and uh, this is my fourth conference. So I didn't make the first one. I have a very good reason for that. Um, the first conference we held here, I'd been a Christian about four weeks, and I hadn't yet um, really got involved with the women's ministry here. And actually, I was living with a lot of the things we're talking about today, so I was living with a lot of condemnation and a lot of intimidation in my life. So... Really, thanks to the ladies at Trinity and and to God, of course, I've been set free, um, really through their love and ministry, and it's amazing to be able to stand here today to bring you the word, so I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Uh, We've got a really good day planned, as Yvonne said, and we've got four testimonies. We're going to use um, Romans 8, and John Piper's reading of Romans 8 was much better than mine could have been, so I hope you enjoyed that. But there's so many amazing verses in that scripture um, that, you know, it's just an amazing piece to work from. And really, I've been planning this for the last sort of few weeks, and um, I was really blessed this week on Monday. I was thinking about how I could sum up for you what we wanted to get out of today. And I don't know if anybody else here follows um, Glasgow Prophetic Centre on social media. But anybody who does would have read on Monday, and I want to read exactly what they said on Monday, because for me, it sums up what today is about. So it said, I saw the Lord standing before many members of the body of Christ, and he was plucking out thorns. Some had thorns all over their bodies, while others had just a few. Yet all these thorns had caused wounds and were hindering each person's progress with the Lord. For far too long, many of you have walked around wounded and have tried to live lives as if your wounds are normal or okay. However, it's time for my bride to walk in wholeness as there is much work to be done in the world. It's time for you, church, to bring my healing to the broken, the weak, the sick and the lost. So I need you to walk in the wholeness I have provided. Will you come and stand before me now? Will you give me permission to remove the thorns? Will you allow my healing hands to touch even the most painful places of your heart and mind? Will you choose wholeness and begin to walk in it? And that is what today is all about. Getting rid of our condemnation, our intimidation, the feelings that we may be separate from God and living our lives without limits. So this morning we're starting by looking at living with no condemnation and how we can allow God's grace to liberate us. And the first two verses of Romans 8 say, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit who gives life has set you free from the law of sin and death. 